in today's video i want to talk about the ice convoys and the instruction for the operators of the ice convoys we'll start with the definition of what are ice convoys ice convoys are where several ships are being escorted by an icebreaker they tend to assume formation at a focal point like a harbor entrance or of a prominent landmark the master of the icebreaker will act as the convoy commander and participating ships would be expected to pass all communication through the convoy commander or the master of the icebreaker prior to formation the commander will require relevant details of the vessel in the convoy and these could include length of the vessel turning radius of the vessel loaded tonnage sailing draft and horsepower and effective maximum speed of the ship's engines each participating vessel will have a designated position within the convoy in relation to the lead commanding icebreaker vessel this position and the distance required between other ships must be always maintained vigilance by watch officers on respective ships for regular movement including stopping or stern motion of head vessels should be continuously monitored the actual distance between vessels on station in convoy can be expected to be a variable depending on prevailing conditions seemingly the optimum benefit received from an icebreaker will be about 150 meters stern however masters of vessels in convoy should establish a safe distance which must be adequate to allow his own vessel to stop without involving collision whatever distance of its adopted masters should invariably be prepared for change as of instructions either from the vessel ahead engine movements by vessels in convoy must be expected and masters of following vessels should note and respond to appropriate signals and actions made by the accompanying vessels the adjustment of speed while engaged in convoy should be at the disposal of the officer of the watch or that person who has the con when adjustment is required orders may be received at any time to operate a stern propulsion and such orders should be responded to immediately an understanding of signals made by icebreakers and escorted vessels should be clearly understood by the bridge team or the bridge personnel these signals could well relate directly to speed or course changes required by the command vessel the use of the international code could also be expected to be employed during such operations finally all vessels should be aware that towing operations by the icebreaker may become a necessity if such an event occurs mariners are advised that icebreakers carry towing wires and winches these towing wires will be hauled aboard and secured aboard the escorted ship personnel should be kept well clear once to encounters so i hope this video was useful to understand what is an icebreaker what is an ice convoy and what are the role of ships that are part of the ice convoy let me know what you thought about this video and i will see you soon with more videos in the topic of high latitude navigation or ice navigation bye